SS-54 submarine arrives at the Philippine Naval Base A sign of Japan-Philippines Defense Cooperation SS-54 submarine arrives at the Philippine Naval Base on June 24, 2024 marking a historic moment in defense relations between Japan and the Philippines This submarine was donated by Japan as part of an initiative to strengthen regional military and security cooperation. SS-54 Hakut K is one of the newest submarines in the Japanese fleet with advanced technology and reliable combat capabilities. This submarine is equipped with a sophisticated sonar system, high-speed torpedoes and high stealth capabilities. Japan's decision to donate this submarine stems from a bilateral agreement that has been developed over the last few years. Japan and the Philippines have the same interests in maintaining stability and security in Southeast Asia in particular. In facing maritime threats the arrival of this submarine was greeted with a military ceremony at the Philippine Naval Base which was attended by high-ranking officials from both countries including the Philippine Defense Minister and the Japanese Ambassador to the Philippines. They emphasized the importance of this strategic collaboration. Philippine Defense Minister Delan Lorenzen in his speech stated that this submarine would significantly increasing the Philippine Navy's ability to maintain maritime sovereignty. He also thanked Japan for the donation which he saw as a real form of support for the Philippines. Japanese ambassador to the Philippines Kazuhiko Koshikawa revealed that the donation of this submarine was a strong symbol of friendship and defense cooperation between the two countries, adding that Japan was committed to continuing to support stability and peace in the region. The Philippines is expected to play a more active role in maintaining maritime stability and mitigating threats in regional waters. The military aspect of this cooperation also has economic implications. Stability and security in the Southeast Asia maritime region is very important for the smooth running of international trade which will benefit the economies of both countries. The arrival of the SS-514 submarine at the Philippine Naval Base is clear evidence of the close cooperation between Japan and the Philippines in the field of defense. This marks a significant step forward in joint efforts to maintain regional security and shows the commitment of both countries to build a more stable and peaceful future in Southeast Asia. The addition of the SS-54 submarine to the Philippine fleet not only strengthens the country's defense capabilities but also improves the Philippines' strategic posture in the South China Sea. With the presence of this submarine, the Philippines can more effectively carry out surveillance and defense operations in waters that are often disputed. Haku is equipped with AIP independent air propulsion technology which allows it to operate for longer periods underwater without surfacing to recharge the batteries. This provides a tactical advantage in reconnaissance and maritime patrol missions. As part of this donation Japan is also providing an intensive training program for the crew The Philippine Navy's program includes maintenance operations and combat tactics using submarines ensuring the Philippines can maximize the potential of these donated submarines and is also expected to be a stepping stone for closer military cooperation between Japan and the Philippines. The two countries have planned joint military exercises and exchange of intelligence information to strengthen the joint defense of countries in the southeast. Asia had mixed reactions to the donation, with some welcoming it as a positive step in strengthening regional security. While others see it as a potential increase in tensions in the South China Sea, China, which has extensive claims in the South China Sea, is closely monitoring this. Development, although there has been no official reaction, the presence of advanced submarines in the Philippines is expected to influence security dynamics in the region in the long term. This contribution has the potential to shift the balance of power in Southeast Asia with increased capabilities.